I'm like, I sound like fucking Gary Neville. It's awful. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. What is that? It. You started. Shit in hell. Yo. We're it's, back again. We're, we're back. It's series two, episode ten. What does that mean? It means. We're, do, we're gonna do. Ah, we're doing, doing a, a Simpsons. We're doing a Simpsons. We're doing a highlight show, best of, where we recap all the stuff you've already seen. Um, so to those of you who watch it week in week out, sorry, uh, but obviously you know we'll be chatting shit in between. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, no, it's good to have you all here. We're gonna run you through everything. Um, I think first of all, we should quickly just sort of. Welcoming Mike Wimbledon here. Mike Wimbledon's doing a double role. Mike, how's your week been? It's been all right. It's been very enjoyable, in fact. Um, trip down to Stamford, didn't we? Oh, yeah. We played a gig. We did play a gig. Scary clown, all tight. Big in the mic. Um, we fucking... <laughs> the tyre popped on the way back. The fucking tyre popped on the way back. Shit in hell, actually, yeah. I, if, only, I only just remembered yeah. all this because I fucking it, it's been like a four day weekend. I, I tell you what, yeah, shit, has, <laughs> mate, fuck me. No, 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 no. It bull, it was burning. Yeah, it was like it was, it was hot. It, it was, was, it was, was hot. smoke. Right. Oh my god. So I've, we've been extremely lucky that any time we've driven to a gig in a car, we've never actually brought down. It's never happened, and when. When we, the, we went over the cat's eye and we heard the big pop and the fucking, my seat, my, the floor felt like it was well, like You could feel it on your side because I couldn't really notice Cause, it. Because like. I, I said that we went over, like we were coming over like a, into, into the motorway into another lane and there was this noise that's, and a bump and it felt like the fucking floor was going to fall out and I was like, fucking hell. Now, you know, I'd, I'd fucking, I'd had a toot before we got, before I got in the car because I'm the passenger and I'm in the car for three hours so part of me's like, oh, I'm just being... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah no I fucking we felt this big rattle and um, that was when I started thinking we are due this happening but I've got to say my, we were in the right we were in the car with Kieran right and uh, Kieran's had this happen to him and doing like very fast on the motorway yeah 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 At exactly 77 miles per hour on the motorway yeah. Kieran's had this happen to him but Kieran had also had him a daffodil now Kieran's very clever and Kieran's one of them people where if you're going to be in that kind of a situation, he's the perfect person to be there with because he's just not, because he's in the matrix. He does, yeah. Right, everybody stay calm, calm. Just move over into the motorway a little bit, right? Get in the hard shoulder. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Take your foot off, go slowly. Assertive, but like just... Calm, yeah. very calm. But also, I'll tell you what, everybody. Mike Wimbledon is absolutely the safest driver I know. Him and Kieran, incredible, immaculate drivers. They know what's going on. They know that... They know how to be safe. They've got good music taste. Appreciate uh, that. Great, great chat in the car as well. And Mike, you know what? He fucking... Let me tell you, right? The car started rattling. When the tyre come off... Oh, yeah. Some guy drove past and he was like... Tyre's flat. The tyre's flat. And we like, were like, oh, the tyre's flat. Oh, and then... Shit. <laughs> oh, my God! Fucking hell! <laughs> Literally. It went, it went from that guy going... <laughs> to fucking... I mean, under, how under the fucking thing flopping around? Mike's there fucking half ten and two. For the fucking hubcap, I fucked off. That had had enough. He saw it coming. Fucking wheel, trim. wheel trim, just like straight off. No, oh, the fucking, the shit, the boy racer shitters. I rate him though. Fucking, I'm not, yeah. I do as well, I like him. Yeah, fucking, that was just gone. The tyre was fucked, like. The tyre was angry. What was annoying though? I'd put air in the tyres, yeah. I've put in a lot of PSI in these tyres. And I fucking must have overdone it. Yeah, it would make sense. Could, it could be that, or it could have just been that there was a lethal bit of fly tipping on the motorway. Or it could have been that there was ghost in the petrol tank. It could have nobody pissed in the petrol tank. I mean, there was anywhere. a fucking spider in the car. Though. There was a spider in the car. <laughs> still, oh, it could my, be still at my, large. Was, not my, my big spider on my leg, do <laughs> What a sentence. My big spider on my leg here, Don. <laughs> I flicked it, I flicked oh, it. Oh, that's Charlie, he's fine. I flicked he's it right. off, I flicked it off. It's on the floor. It's on the floor. It's an Hollywood spider. It gets 
It's trained. It's, you're not, you're not Charlotte's Web, yeah. Her sister. Yeah, yeah. 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 Her It's a stunt spider. Um, speaking of Hollywood, stunt spiders, actors. Films. We want to um, want to reassure you the game. The game is uh, the one of the better figs that we've done. It's definitely definitely incredibly put together by Dean. The problem is, is that we accidentally used copyrighted music, so I couldn't put it on TikTok. Um, I don't know how we use copyrighted music because the YouTube video clearly said copyright free music. You fucking it's shit. Though. I know, yeah, it's shit. So some little hanging cretin has fucking put that up on there, Can't slapped a copyright on it just to do what? Catch out fucking people trying to make silly videos. So whoever that pedo is, I genuinely wish you all the worst. Wow, bag of shit. Yeah. This is the game. It just goes on for time. <laughs> I always forget about the shit like that at the end. So, Great. you may remember um, a couple of series ago, we, a couple of series ago, there's only been two, a couple of episodes ago, we went to watch a battle rap. Well, guess what? It's just like your mum said. If you start hanging out with gangs, other gangs will come after you. Gang shit happens. A battle rapper has come after Mike Wimbledon, a ladies and gentlemen. A has come after me. A battle rapper has sent bars... It sounds like the X-Files in here, Dean. Can we turn down the thing a little bit? Um, I think we might need to connect to the... I need an arcs or something here, Dean. Yeah, Dean, could you pass us the arcs? What, 
We've got a, a battle, a guy. You just play it into rap. the mic if it comes to it. Yeah, I've just I've got an audio clip. Oh, yeah, it's an audio clip. What, yeah. on your phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's quiet. Yes, it is. So a battle rapper's sent for Mike. What is, is this? So, is we'll this show it? you, yeah. So now, now I'd... I, I do I do want to point out here, it, you shouldn't be sending for us, you know. We, um, obviously, we know battle rappers now. Um, or, you know, we went to watch a battle rap, and uh, we know one battle rapper, and he's pretty good, I've heard. Um, so, you know, don't fuck with us, probably. Mike's got a few bars. I can do that bit where you join in at the end and go, whoa. So, oh, fucking, you know, watch it. But anyway. So, it was um, Alex from the Barcel Preachers. Um, he saw it went to that battle rap, and he's housemate. Dave is a battle rapper. It's called Enlish, and he just randomly sent me this on a week night, and it's fucking stupid, and it's great. You are now listening to Big Dave. 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 <laughs> this is a Big Dave exclusive. Oh my! You're in trouble, fam. Hope you're ready to get cooked. Yo, check it. You got an ego, better check it first. I heard your surname's Wimbledon because you're always getting served. And I can see that you're a mega nerd. Ariel Salad is the very worst band name I ever heard. And there's nothing you can do, son. It's ironic your name's Mike, but you don't know how to use one. I'll be smashing on your chick for days. You look like Freddie Mercury if he lived of AIDS. Your career's going nowhere, you really should stop here. I heard you're 25, but you're aging in dog years. I saw your pick while I was necking your mother. You got three hit Natashas that connect to each other. <laughs> and you won't like the sound of this. Your mum's so dumb, she once tried to drown a fish. And before you say Dave is ruthless, you can blame Alex Hay, because he made me do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Michael. Michael. Michael's great. I like Michael. This is Michael. 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 Michael, 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 Michael. It just says it Michael. Goes on, yeah. no, it goes, it it says goes Michael. on for like a minute, it's a minute and 12 seconds there of just Michael from films. But big up um, Alex A's house, mate. Big Dave for that. Cheers, That's big Dave. fucking well funny. That was funny. Yeah. Thanks for that. Anyway, series two. <laughs> what does this say? Series two. Oh, this. So this oh, was. Oh, um, so this when is the when, when we, we went, met with the our uh, producer. To well, go on, man. Well, you 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 know you talk about. So obviously after we did it. So obviously you know after se- the success of series one, um, it was up to you and I to go and pitch to uh, the YouTube board of directors. Yeah. And uh, what was going through your mind, you know, in the build up to this? What was the planning that went involved to pitching this idea? I was quite um, <laughs> intrigued, really, by the. Decisions that the elders would make for the second series because I think that we had the potential to be a much better group and go further and make more quality content. So when we were, went into the building, we was expecting that they would align with us. So we dressed our smartest and we went in and pitched it to them. And that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to show what, you. What, 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 bef- when you were... When you were thinking about series two, what were the main objectives? What were you trying to overcome? What were you trying to do better that you, that you, you know, that you wanted to improve upon? I want to compete. And do you think you've, do you think you've, do you think you've succeeded in doing this? I wanted to compete with the big boys. I wanted to make the content greater for the consumer and for the entertainment factor. That's you, there, folks, ladies and gentlemen, watching live. <laughs> so. It was up to it was up to us to pitch over our ideas, my expectations of greater filming, greater locations, greater characters, greater episodes, greater talking points, these strong points in which we could get over from the board and get another second series out of. Well, let's watch how it did it, but before we do that, have you listened to Spit on My First on Spotify? You should do. Fluff it off, Dad. <clears throat> you lead it. Don't dress a bit smarter, son. This is how much you need, this. Look, Mike, I want this. I really, really want this. I can see this, mate. Look, I've got to be on board now, okay? Uh, look. Sleeves down, sleeves down. Sleeves down. Sleeves Keep down. your sleeves down, son. That keeps a good impression on him. Okay. You don't have people in short sleeves shirts making good impressions. That's what Stop I Stop doing the voice. 
you stop doing the... You would see the song, you would have this thing. Come with me. Good gaff. What do you mean, shake his hand? Try to ask me, he said, thank you, he said, thank you. I think we should talk about the first series. Oh, well, uh, me and Dean actually reviewed the first series. Well, Dean's not here, and if he was, I'd say you look lazy and you look like cunts. Don't be worried, son, but you look like a cunt. Let's break it down. Episode one, two likes. Episode two, five likes. Episode three, one like. It appears nobody is watching this. Go on, son, go on. I agree, I agree. Um, well, uh, look, sir, uh, you know, but please don't let the fact that not very many people are watching it bother you. I mean, uh, let me stop you there. It's bothering me, so carry on. Obviously, we need to make a few cut higher. We need better mix, we need improvements all round, we need better production, it needs to improve. Excuse me, son, how many TV shows have you made in your time? <sighs> Hundreds. Okay, fair enough, carry on. Right, we're going to have to make some improvements. But we're not going to the budget. You have to do it yourselves. I know you've been off the spot and never mind the bus cocks. And I know it pays well, but don't be tempted by the money. I'm not working with that bloody goth. Let me stop you there. Do I have a handle on the side of my head? You're making me look like a fucking mug. Well, I'm saying that's second series. You're going to get no funding. You're gonna have to fit it in around work. It's gonna be shit. No one's gonna watch it. I'm gonna hate you. I already do. So do you want to take a series on that? Fuck you! Yeah! Right, you've got your second series. Fuck off. Thank you for your time. And we, we subtly hinted there at the end that the next episode would be with Shorty Horror as well. Yeah, yeah. And it was. <laughs> it was, yeah. That was a... Um, it was fun making... It was it was a lot of fun making that. Um, the, we were dead lucky because I, I work in Blue Tower in Media City and that's level 10 which has just been made which is like a... You know, it's like kind of like a multi-surface, you know, cooperative uh, sort of like free space, you know, it's going to have a cafe in it. And, you know, it's one of them gaffes anyway. But it's dead bougie and the fucking views are sick, so we just fucking pop down there. Loads of plants, weren't there? Yeah, it w would, you're not really meant to go down there. There's been a few times where, like, Kevin was on, like, would be on a spec call or something. They'd come down, like, you need to get out. It's like, what? I'm fucking speaking with, like, a fucking startup at the minute. Like, <laughs> fucking, what are, you what are you doing and pitching it? It's been pretty... Don't interrupt me. <laughs> no, it's, it's been pretty mad, but, um, no, nah, it's true. We did we did Series 2 with no funding. We did. Um, we did it after... We did it in, in our spare time. Did it in between did work. Did it in between work, yeah. It's not easy. Hey, and fucking <laughs> Key was right. But do you know what? It's fucking it's been um, it's been really fun. And obviously we wouldn't be able to do this without without Dean, without Dean's editing, without Dean's determination and Dean's not not being lazy, which is <laughs> obviously we wrote a tune about our laziness. So he's been keeping us in order and yeah, no, it's really nice. It's really nice. He's lost his smile, Dean, unfortunately. <laughs> he's lost his, like, Dean's lost his smile. He's just then, getting ready for the Christmas break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a big, big white Christmas out of Dean, and then we'll be back to it. We'll be sound. Teddy green people. 
Yeah. Still part of the green it's not, We've not had our Sunday days moment, don't worry. Not like <laughs> Just Sometimes we've got to take a break. Gaz back hurts from carrying the show. Do you know what I mean? That's it. It's got That's the weight. It got the weight of our shit. But no, it's been a not genuinely though. I think um, I think one thing that we we actually wanted to do this this series was try and up the the antics of the vigs a little bit. Yeah. And try and make them a little bit daft. And we're like, we're, you know, we're just learning as well. We're like, we just keep learning how to do new shit, and it's try it. Up here, I've got on this list. <laughs> what does that say? Does that say macho man? Macho man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This was pretty good. What would it sound like if Brian Clough was cutting a Macho Man Randy Savage style promo on Hulk Hogan before a title match? Oh, yes, I'm going to cut you up real fine, I am. I'm going to do some cut real you damage. Up. I'm going to really fucking <laughs> do you in. What I'm going to do is put you in a big arm lock, you yeah. see, and I'm going to make you, make you tap out, and that is where you're going to finish the match because I've got the big moves. I'm going to jump off that bloody turnbuckle like nothing you've ever seen before. So what I'm going to do... I'm gonna, get, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna Irish whip you. I'm gonna tell you off a bit, and I'm gonna bloody clo- <laughs> tell you off. I'm a gonna bit. bloody, t- I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bloody clothesline you off the off the fucking rope. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll have two bottles of wine, <laughs> and I'll absolutely pummel you. <coughs> Sorry, what would it sound like if actual macho man was hearing this nonsense? <laughs> the hell is a Brian Clough? Yeah, sounds like a. A 1980s rock and roll singer or something. Somebody that probably ain't got on a Venice Beach show and they'll take a little bit of the old uh, wacky backy with the kids there do. Uh, I don't know about that one. But what I do know about is the Hulkster, yeah. Guy's been walking around town thinking he's the hot tamale, hot tomato. But no, that's not what's going to happen. Madness is coming. WrestleMania. Mega Power's going to explode. And if Brian Clough uh, thinks winning champions leagues for places named after forests and <laughs> leaves and trees is gonna do anything uh, the wrong <laughs> dig it I want to fight him <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Wait, what, is, what would car part Jim say to that a lot of fucking bollocks <laughs> and, that is, and that is it and that is it thanks for fucking joining us this has been belting it won't be the last time you see the three of us the together second being series oh, yeah. yeah welcome to the second series oh yeah <laughs> nah that that was fucking I'll tell you what right I'll tell you what it's a great episode that that was that what happened that day was Mike his brother and his dad went out and had about 10 pints of pop and I showed up to Vibe and was sort of like, all right, let, all right Mr. Rapper, let's see how high you can get. <laughs> and I fucking moved straight on to have an edible to shot it. So by the time we were filming, we'd been chatting bollocks for about three and a half hours, just fucking shooting the shit on music and wrestling. And then by the time we were coming on to do that, we, uh, we it was, I was so fucked up, just absolutely, incredibly high. Just fucking out, proper like when you've had edibles as well. They're a bit like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Woo! Do you know what I mean? You're a bit giddy. So like, <laughs> it was really good, though. It was really funny, that. And, um, yeah, whenever we can get a bit of Brian Clough and Carpark Jim in the fucking same gaff, we'll always try to. <laughs> no, it was fucking... It was daft. It was daft. It was like one of them as well where... I like... I'm forgetting about like, the Jeopardy and shit that we played. That was funny. Mm. Great. Yeah, Sean's but- a great guest as well. And, uh, like, you know, of all the, he's the first kind of, like... Proper guest that's not like someone in the band or something. Yeah, it's like really the only guest. We oh have. yeah. <laughs> there'll, be more, there'll be more. There'll be more. There'll be more. There'll be Monopoly. There'll hey, be more. that's that's coming. Hey, that is. Yeah, you wait. You you all bloody wait. You all bloody wait and see. It takes two to tango, but it takes more than two to play Monopoly. We'd play Sabutio, but that's just fucking Dungeons and Dragons for fucking football hooligans. <laughs> for Johns. We've got here. Um, One pop at a gig. Uh, had a fucking little one pop of a joint. You know, I'm going watching a band. You know, well, it's as you do. Have a little fucking have a bit of a split. Yeah, mate. Right, go on. You know what I mean? Go it's on. Like, yeah, you do, don't you? you? Fucking do. You have a bit so you can stand there and go. Oh yeah. Yeah, li- yeah. literally that. Yeah. Fucking that is. Ex- I was like, that's what my mindset. I was like, yeah, that's where you want to kind of be watching a band. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, it's good tunes. Yeah, fuck it. That'd be nice. So we get there. We queue up. We go through tickets, whatever. Yeah, fine. Go in. There's a drugs dog. 
didn't, I didn't I didn't really pay much attention. I was coming like, oh, so I just walked through. It started smelling me. Two of them started smelling me, and I started getting worried. So um, this fucking woman pulls me to the side. Ben, this isn't police. This is like security, John's. Like people who work for a company, you aren't police officers. So it fucking pulls me to the side. I'm like, shit, right, okay, you're all right. She was like, proper straight away. No, like, are you okay? More like, what have you got on you? If you got anything on you, get it on now. I was like, all right. I was, I was just saying, like, I've not, I know for a fact, I've, I checked before I came, I didn't bring anything with me, I'm going to a gig and that. I couldn't get a fucking word in edgeways. I couldn't get a, it was like, it's like speaking to a fucking BBC news reporter or Good Morning Britain. I couldn't get my point out. <laughs> what do we want? Pallets. When do we want them? Next day delivery if you're on before 1pm. <laughs> I'm Blue Pallet Man, and you can order the best Blue Pallets right here through me. The man, the myth, the pallets. The man, the myth, the pallets, indeed. The man, the myth, the pallets, indeed. Oh, um, yeah, that was fucking, that was pretty funny. That was one of the, one of the better sort of, well, not better, but just one of the nice little bits of chatter that you happen through the episodes. It's quite funny because by the time you've got Arch all on my table. Like, oh, sorry, mate. By the time you fucking, just brush that off there, son. Come on, it's not a fucking farm. It's not a farm. It's not a farm. You can leave in your muck Ash on. farm. Alien ash farm. <laughs> if you had all the blue pallets in that place, what would you use? <laughs> <before>? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, I don't know, mate. Build a raft and go to that fucking big Tesco on oh, the shit. island. Island Tesco? I oh, know. Not a bad idea. No, well, I'll tell you what, you know, if, if we've missed off any of your favourite uh, segments, you know, why don't you leave a comment and let us know what they were and, um, you know, go back and watch them again. Yeah. Help us out. No, no. <laughs> fucking, or whatever you want to do. So, so no, pal. <laughs> um... What, yeah, there is blue cab man. Oh, fucking, you never see blue taxis. You never in do. fairness. Like, it's, like, they've always just like got an advert covered over them. It's like, it makes it They're up, really, it? I think they're, they're dead, the black cab. Yeah. They are, yeah. aren't they? They've died they've off. They've had they're, it. They're too expensive. I don't understand. I, I, when I was growing up, I never used to understand this. I never used to understand why a black cab costs so much money. Apparently, it's the gimmick, but who's fucking arsed? It's a taxi. Pick me up in a fucking Ford Cortina, I don't care. Get yeah, it? Street knowledge. I don't. I don't want to pay for some fucking taxi driver to take me the longest possible way he can because I'm on the meter. <laughs> Street knowledge. You're paying to be fucking John Dover. That's all that's happening there. <laughs> Dave's brother. <laughs> Dave's brother. No, in it though, it's like, come on, like, he's, I'd obviously get the cheaper option. I'm not going to pay like seven quid to go from one side of Manchester to the other. I liked that taxi share in Germany. I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have you ever told you about this, Dean? <laughs> oh God! Oh, it was amazing. So, we, <laughs> do you want to tell it to me? It's like I'll let you. We'll, we'll kind of you start, and I'll kind of. Right. So when we stayed in Hamburg, um, when we played uh, Booze Cruise Festival, big shout out, great festival. They're doing one in December this year. Um, they sent us an email about playing, but I've. Didn't see it until months after. So sorry about that, everybody. We probably wouldn't have been able to do it anyway, because we're on tour. But anyway, love you guys. Um, you know, Stefan, Timo, Danny, Slayer. All tight team. Not the band, the cat. But um, <laughs> yeah, we're staying in Hamburg um, with T- uh, Timo, lovely gaff. Um, I'm like, right, okay, let's get, a, let's get a taxi into town, yeah? Get a taxi into town one night, go get pissed up in Hamburg. But they didn't have Uber. It was like a different one, wasn't it? Like... Yeah, they didn't have Uber in the area. They had some, like, communist taxi instead, <laughs> like, that was fucking, you know, you got in it and shared it with random people. We didn't really realise, like, what was what was going on. It was, like, the cheaper option, so it was just like, fuck it, why not? It'd be funny, like... But they pick us up, right, and um, they start taking source. It's Gaff, and we're fucking chatting to the guy. He's like, what do you do? Like, oh, yeah, no, we're here playing a gig, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, okay, we're just picking somebody else up, and then we go to town. And we're like, all right, okay, cool. Anyway... <laughs> No, it's the normal taxi. (laughs) Oh, no, mate. It was a nice normal taxi. So. It was like a Skoda. Like a Skoda. Standard Uber kind of taxi, yeah? So we pulled us out outside this calf, right? <laughs> it's when they rang him and it's like, uh, they sounded like they was like having, having a few tunes on getting ready, being like, all right, we're coming down now. Like, you, Yeah, you could hear like, you could hear these, like, obviously these women who were having a party and all that come down. 
And when I'm talking, like, two, like, fucking absolutely beautiful women came down the stairs. I mean, like, for you, it was a bit like, fucking hell. You kind of looking at each other like, oh, this is cool. Oh, this would be nice. So we, get in the, so we get in the car, and Alex Wong said something interesting to me that rings true, right? He says, when you're in Europe, people like to laugh at British people, not with you, because they all think you're idiots. And that's fair, that. And once you know that, you can have a laugh, people. Anyway, we get in the car and these uh, beautiful German women are like, um, basically just like, oh my God, you're English. Oh, that is so sexy. <laughs> That's so sexy. I love English accent. And we're like, me and Michael are like, fucking hell. I mean, this is like, what, 2019? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, fucking 21, 23 here in Germany, fucking on holiday. And you, you think you've <laughs> hit the fucking jackpot. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. fucking hell. This is incredible. What a stroke look, and we're like, absolutely buzzing. They're like, oh, yeah, you should come out with us. You should come out with us tonight. We'll like, we're going to this bar in town. You should totally come with us. Like. Yeah, it's the coolest bar in the whole of town. We'll take you there drinking, yeah? We'll tell you about that fucking bar in a second. Oh, yeah. And you know, we're like, oh, my God, we're fucking, you know, there's fucking, we get people putting their hands on our shoulders, and it's like, oh, my God, bloody hell. What's happened here? I feel like we're the bit bloody Beatles. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, um, they were kind of struggling to understand our northern brobe. Our accents, they were really struggling with, uh, particularly mine, because I sound like a fucking horse pine that's been squaws down a little bit. Um, and obviously they use a lot of northern vernacular. Yeah. So... They oh, were, sound. Yeah. They, what is this? What is this sound you talk of? You speak English like uh, I've never heard before. And that was what she said. And Mike... <laughs> I'm not... I'm just going to say, I was, I was pretty hammered here. Like... <laughs> There was drinks involved, but you know, <laughs> and, I'd, and like just as a passing comment, thinking like nobody probably heard me, I just went, "Watch, I talk like Hugh Grant." No, then. he didn't. No, you fucking didn't. No, it was someone. No, what did didn't. I say? What you did went, I say? You turned around them both, and you like, "Do you want me to talk like Hugh Grant for you?" And there was just silence in the taxi, and I just went, <laughs> "You know when you like know you fucked it like in a second, and the fucking dread hits you." And he, in his face, he knew he fucked it. Panic as struck. <laughs> like a rabbit in the headlights. As soon as he said it, you could see his face. Oh. Two words: lead balloon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was brilliant. And it then we went brilliant. to that. They took us to like this what? Irish bar in the middle of Hamburg. Second, we got out of that taxi. I brought that. I, I just yeah. went, don't want to just be like your grand for you. And that was it. Was that was on them? The, right. Yeah. The the bar they took us to <laughs> was the worst. It was quickly went from being like this could be one of the most. You know, this could be like a Disney night. This this could be a bit of magic. And um, they basically took us to a Yeatsies. Full of English people, it full was, of English blokes. It was like this Irish bar they took us to, yeah. and they were playing like Seven Nation Army and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Everyone, and Red Hot Chili Peppers, and everyone was dancing. <laughs> everyone was dancing to like, and it was. I was like, oh, oh, it's gushing here. And then, as obviously, immediately as we got to this bar, these obviously beautiful German women that were just like, you turn around and they're like, fucking, oh, right, there's, fucking, there's about 20 people around trying to have a chat. <laughs> we'll just go, we'll leave. We'll, we'll leave. go for a fag. And we went for a fag and then we went off drinking in fucking German bars where no one spoke English. Yeah. It was sick. Yeah. Fucking play, <laughs> playing like fucking 60s tunes on the on the jukebox, drinking like six six euro rounds. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. If, if you want to have fun in the Reaper band, just get off the beaten track. Yeah, get off the main strip and go, go fucking rogue. And that's my favourite thing about being in the band and going on holiday and all that shit with you, is that you'll go and do stuff with me. You'll go, like, you know what I mean? Like, we'll go and have a look, us. We'll proper go and have a look round. I don't read babes, we'll go and have a look. Yeah, exactly. We fucking, don't eat, don't tell us what the weather is. We'll find out <laughs> ourselves. Do you know what I mean? We'll bring we'll a jacket fucking, and we'll work fucking it out. do as soon as we get on the motorway. Oh, yeah, God, fuck that. Why is it always piss it? When you're playing a band, why is it always piss it down there immediately when you start going to a gig? Don't, don't know. know. It's fucking gash, isn't it? Testing us. Anyway... Uh, up next, we've got probably one of the weirder things, <laughs> one of the weirder clips we've got. Um, it was when Car Park Jim came to visit us at Vibe. It's an absolute fucking shite always. Who fucking thinks to keep a car park in such a fucking horrible state? Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, right, cheers for, uh, yeah, cheers for joining us, car park, Jim. Um, nice for joining us on a Sunday. What have you been up to? 
Nah, not much, not much. I've been, uh, it's been to church, Anna. Are you a religious man, Jim? No, 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 it's just, it's just what I call short and it's been keeping the area clean, you know. Car park's in good nick, just making sure everything's in check. Seen uh, some horrible graffiti about uh, gyp, gyp holes out, gyp holes out. Absolutely disgusting, had to eradicate that. Keeping the wall nice and clean. This kid is going about. It's a nice area, it's a car park, it's communal, you know. You can't be discriminating via the means of wall art. I find that shit outsery. Oh yeah, there's the... Uh... It's the car park uh, conservation. Ah, the car park conservation convention. Oh god, I can't even get the bloody words out myself. I get so excited thinking about it. Why don't you tell us about it? It's only the biggest meeting of car park con well, surveyors and conservators around the country meeting in one big room, and it's basically. People show off their areas, we show off ours, and it's more of a, I not want to say a judgement competition. Is it your job to look after all the car parks, or do you just... You, you know, do you, get, do you get paid, or how, how does it work? Well, I mean, there's no strict salary. I'm not on a PAYE basis like most people would be. However, um, I tend to the car parks, sometimes voluntary, sometimes paid, but I'm not really to talk about where I get my money from, if I'm honest. All right, yeah, nice one, Jim. See you in a bit. That's right. <laughs> That's the best bit of editing Dean's done that in fucking so funny. bastard. It's fucking quality. Oh god. Right, well, do you know what? That's all we've got time for. Um we're going on tour with Snuff. Please fucking you daft cunts. Come and see that. Pop up of the snuff poster, Dean. Pop up <laughs> edit that in. Snuff. No, no, it's not. not. No, it's not. No, it's not. But uh yeah, come see. Come see us play with fucking Come play with come play with us with snow. Fucking hell, yeah, join the band, why not? <laughs> Open auditions next week. But come watch us at those gigs, buy your tickets now. Um obviously we're gonna do a Christmas thing. Um that'll be good. And then we'll see you again uh, when we've got our third single out. Yeah. Or next single. And he, he's putting a number on him. Hey. Isn't it? Hey, what are our numbers? Oh yeah. Look forward to that, it's a good one. Big love. Tomorrowsalad.co.uk. Go from Fred's. It's a record. Go everything you need. Look at that. It's a big bloody boat full of stock, fresh off the River Kwai. We even used to have jumpers, but we all fucking bought them. Not sweatshops though. Old Trafford, over one of the big six. More like makes me sick. 